I remember getting my Nintendo 64 console in the late months of 1999, and ever since then, it has been one of my go-to consoles, whether it's talking about Super Mario 64, Zelda Ocarina of Time, any of the Mario parties, to even some of the lesser-known titles like Destruction Derby 64 or Monster Truck Madness 64. This is one of those systems that I've had so many fond memories for, and that's why I'm starting this series. The Nintendo 64 had 296 North American American games released and currently I have 186 of them in my collection. So hopefully with this series I am able to basically collect them all and I'm going to do that in a few different ways. I'm going to be buying, selling, and trading all my way to get to 296 whether I'm using Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, going to thrift stores, pawn shops, flea markets, or even game stores to find these games. I think this is going to be a tough but interesting series considering I don't see too many Nintendo 64 games at the Goodwills or the thrift stores that I often frequent. So my goal is to kind of step out of my comfort zone in order to get all of these games while at the same time showing that you don't have to do this with a ton of money and I really hope this helps motivate you to grow a collection of your own. This is going to be difficult because I am missing some of those more expensive games on the Nintendo 64. We're talking Super Bowling, Stunt Racer, and of course, Clay Fighters Sculptor's Cut. So in this video series, I know I'm going to have to spend some money, but I'm going to try to do it in a way where I'm not spending an exorbitant amount of money. I will be definitely be looking for bundles and trades in order to make the money that I have and what I'm going to put towards the series to be able to at least go further and not be as expensive as you would think a Nintendo 64 collection is. Speaking of bundles, let's go ahead and talk about the very first pickup of this series. And to start off, I was searching endlessly on a Facebook Marketplace for Nintendo 64 bundles and even just games. That way we could kickstart this series. And lo and behold, I stumbled upon one that was really great. It was listed for $150 then it was marked down to $130 and I thought, maybe I'll send them an offer of $100 and to my surprise, they took it right away. This bundle was only 15 minutes from my house and it actually had a game that I didn't have. So of course I was interested in it. So after I got back home from meeting them, I noticed two things about this bundle. The controllers and the cords were third party, which I probably could have figured out if the pictures were better, but that's okay because the second thing I noticed was when I plugged it in, it had an expansion pack in the expansion pack slot, which means I made some money there because I looked these things up. These expansion packs are worth $50 now. How crazy is that? I really wasn't expecting that because I bought this bundle for the games. Well, only one game, but I'll flip the rest, so it's totally well worth it. This bundle included a few games, six to be exact. First off, WCW versus NWO Revenge. We've got Quake, Kobe Bryant, NBA Courtside. We got Star Wars Rogue Squadron. We got Star Wars Episode One Racer. And the last game that I needed was Dr. Mario 64. After totaling all of this up with the console, the expansion pack, which I wasn't expecting, and all the games, the total on price charting worth was $207, which is great because I only spent $100 of it. Now, Dr. Mario is worth about $30, so that really knocks the price down to $177, which is pretty perfect. What I plan on doing is bundling everything together except for the expansion pack and selling that separately, and I have a few of those normal original expansion packs that I'll throw in the Nintendo 64 bundle, so we'll be pretty happy there because I'll be able to take that hundred dollars and almost double it right away and be able to put that towards money in the future 
that will go towards finding more Nintendo 64 games. Now that we have the first pickup for the Nintendo 64 game collection series, I'll have a list down below with all the games I have and what I don't have as well. So that way you can follow along as the journey continues. But with that being said, I really enjoyed this and I can't wait to see what games we can find out in the wild and kind of what we're going to have to do when it comes to going to game stores in order to pick up some of these more expensive games. But with that being said, that's all I've got. Go ahead and check out that video right there. I think you'll really enjoy it. Oh, you're still here? Check that video out for me.